Hi guys, I'm finally getting around to making another video. I've been extremely busy over the Christmas period and I'm sure everyone else has. There's a bit of a change of scenery today because I'm recording the video on my bed, which is nice and comfortable. It's like we're just um, sitting on my bed having a nice little chat. Do you ever have something in your head and you rehearse it in your head and it sounds perfect, then you come to actually see it and you can't get your words out? That's exactly how I feel like, every time I make a video, like, I'm just sitting, having little chats with myself in my head. Um, and then I turn the camera on, and I'm just like, ugh. Anyways, I hope everyone had a really nice Christmas. Um, this has been the best Christmas I've had in many, many years. There's always, like, drama in my family, and there's always people taking sides and stuff like that. But this year, I got to spend time with everyone in my family without any arguments, so that for me was the best thing about Christmas this year. I just realised one sleeve was up and one sleeve was down. <laughs> um, the topic that I'm going to talk about today is sexuality and the amount of quest questions... <laughs> the amount of questions I get asked on a daily basis about sexuality um, I should have made this video ages ago, but I've never saw it as a big deal, so I've never bothered making a video about it, even though I have written about it on Tumblr many, many times. I'm obsessed with the word many, many a day. Okay, so I'll start from the beginning. Um, I knew that I was attracted to guys ever since that I could remember, really, and growing up, I would always play with, um, like, brat dolls and stuff. I had action men, but I also had like dolls and I wanted to be a hairdresser. So how my parents didn't know from me being like five years old, I have no idea. This is really personal to talk about, but I think it's really important to help you guys if you're struggling with sexuality, especially like people that are younger, maybe two, three years younger, um, because I wish there was someone to give me the same advice, but um, that sounded really big headed. <laughs> so growing up, um, I was around homophobia, not only in my friends and people from school, there was people in my family as well, I mean, um, it's such it's such an awful feeling and I, and I do feel for everyone that's went through the same thing, to feel like you're not normal and to feel that there's something wrong with you. I mean, you don't choose your sexuality. Why would anyone choose to be a minority that gets bullied and discriminated and whatever else? Um, so, growing up around people that would be like, oh, that's disgusting if they saw two guys kissing on the TV or just being homophobic in general, it was really hard to accept myself. So, um, I would just pretend that I was straight. Um, because, especially in school, um, people mature at different levels, I think, and during school, there's still a lot of immaturity and people that don't understand, so, in my opinion, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't come out during high school unless you were completely comfortable with your sexuality and didn't care what people think. Because um, there's a huge transition from school to college. I didn't want to tell people about my sexuality in school in case, like, my male friends acted different around us. Because for some reason, street boys seem to think that a gay male fancies every single male that they come in contact with. And that's not the case at all. Like, if you're street, do you fancy every single girl that you come in contact with? No. Well, some do, but whatever. I think that sexuality is no big deal. It's just another asset to your personality, to your character. You don't need to make a big deal about it or preach about it or um, let sexuality define who you are. And a lot of people ask us for advice on coming out. And really, I, I didn't come out and I don't feel like anyone else should feel like they have to come out because if you were born straight, would you have to come out and be like, oh, I'm straight, mom, I'm straight, dad, I'm straight, no. So I think maybe a good, a good time to tell your parents is when you were 
if you are ever in a serious relationship um, with someone of the same gender, then that's a good reason to tell your parents or tell your friends. But other than that, it's no one else's business apart from your own. A lot of people ask what my sexuality is and I get tired of all the labelling. I mean, there's so many different names for different sexualities these days. I think that if people just um, forgot about labelling the sexuality and just dated whoever they wanted to date and if, if you like someone and they like you, then who even cares? You don't need to restrict yourself to one gender or state labels anywhere, in my opinion. I do know that it's hard to feel uncomfortable and feel rejected and feel unaccepted and feel like you're not normal, but as time goes on, people are just getting more and more understanding of the whole thing and less ignorant, so it is getting easier. I just hope this video inspires at least one person to be comfortable with the sexuality. Um, and that's, that's all really. I'm gonna try and upload videos every week but I'm not gonna make any promises because we all know I'm a lazy bitch. I hope you somewhat enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the holiday season. Bye.